and um, we'll try and then reach um, Alexander Fenyamarking and then of course the parliamentary press corps. So we have him uh, joining us now. Would would walk towards him. He is currently, uh, the, the party had communicated that he will be the deputy majority leader or the deputy uh, to Osechi Mensabuntu once the eighth parliament is reconstituted. Thank you very much, Mr. Alexander Fenyamarking. Thank you very much for joining us. We're, I'm sure congratulations is in order at this point. Very well. Were you expecting it? Let's proceed. Were you expecting it? Let's proceed. Well, how do you feel about it? An opportunity to serve. Mm. So we shall serve. You're ready to serve in that capacity? We are going to serve. <laughs> You're going to serve. How are you going to serve? Well, it's a teamwork. Mm -hmm. And uh, Parliament is a platform of engagement and consultation, expressing your views. I mean, look at government business, reach out and ensure that the right things are done. Governance must continue. And that's the... Um, thinking, and that's what we're going to do. Okay. So there's one concern, of course, the, the NDC side maintained that they are also a majority because they had 137, you also have 137. We've attempted to settle that because you said the independent party is on your side, like you put it. But the issue about which side you sit, tomorrow, for instance, after the dissolution, is it on the right side or on the left side? It's key uh, for the minority. Where exactly? Would that be, have we tried to resolve that particular issue? First, I don't think the NDC can ever claim that it has majority. The gazetted results are clear. Parliament has been put on notice as to who and who was elected in a particular constituency. As we speak, we have 137 MPP, 137 NDC. So they can't say they have majority. That is the first point. Second, there is an independent candidate who is also coming in. The rule is clear on which group constitutes the majority and which group constitute the minority now for the generation the definition of majority the provision in our rules clearly in states that the largest party or the largest party with other party or parties now you are to simply give it a purposive interpretation party or parties so if a person comes to parliament not on a party ticket but as an independent candidate that construction necessarily must be construed to mean that an independent part mp or independent MPs will fall in the category of party or parties. And if those independent can, uh, MPs decide to join any group having the largest number, and in the, such, such a process, that group gains a numerical advantage over the other. Straight away, that group forms a majority. But look here, these matters will be settled in the fullness of time. So we don't need to break our shoulders over this. Okay. So you maintain your right side, you'd say? To the extent that the MP elect for Formina has joined our caucus or has elected to caucus with the MPP, his inclusion on our side sits within the remit of the largest party and parties or a party 
that construction will then mean that we are more than them. And if that is the case, then we are to sit on the right of Mr. Speaker. Be that as it may, the, if we don't settle that, and they insist, which I doubt, there is an opportunity after the election of the Speaker to rule. And the ruling of Speaker brings finality to a matter. Well, but it looks like this uh, particular eight parliament that we are going into will be based largely on a lot of consensus building and compromise. Is your side ready for that? Take away compromise and let's talk about consensus. Mm -hmm. The Honorable Aveji, um, who has just joined us, was uh, once upon a time chairman of finance committee when we came to the house and they were our seniors. We learned something from, from them as seniors at the time. There's not the optics debate, but at committee level, you discuss matters dispassionately and that has been the status quo ante. And there's not going to be any departure from that. Consultation has always been part of parliamentary democracy. So parliament work first at the committee before the plenary. Parties also have their principles. So even where you've had consultation, if the principle of their party is that, well, on this, we are opposed to it, so shall it be. We would have the debate, they would have their way, we would have our way, and a decision will be taken. That is how it is. So um, it is not about compromising, but it's about having a constructive engagement. Mm. To me, that's the bottom line. Well, um, stay with me, Honorable Fenyo Marking. He's the deputy majority leader, should I say. Uh, the side is not confirmed yet. That's why I'm saying that he's the deputy uh, to the leader of his side, the NPP side. And we have uh, James Kluchavedi, Honorable James Kluchavedi, who is currently uh, the minority leader, uh, also deputy minority leader, also joining us. So, um, first off, uh, I'm sure you've been listening to Honorable Fenyo Marking. I would want to hear uh, your fondest memories as uh, the seventh parliament dies. But first, I've been talking about consensus and compromise, and uh, it appears that it's cast in stone for them. Consensus, yes, but not compromise. Well, uh, thank you very much. Sorry, I came in late because uh, I had to rush in because I realized that my colleague was misleading the public. Uh, so I have to That's rush. Cool. I have to rush from my, my office. When you ask him about the issue about majority, first of all, we in NDC did not say we have majority based on the result declared by the EC. But your function executive says you should hold yourselves as majority. Yes, I said, I'm saying that based on the result declared by the EC, we are not majority. And we always say that there is no majority in parliament and there is no minority in parliament. We've been holding this position for some time now, simply because we have 137 and the MPP also has 137. Now, there's an issue of an independent person who indicated that he'll be working with the MPP. That doesn't make them majority. It was, the constitution is very clear. And my colleague was trying to interpret the constitution. <laughs> he doesn't like his bosom to do that. Now, when he said party or parties with the majority number, in this case, the party here is MPP. The ind independent member is not a party. But it's not a It's not a okay. The constitution was clear that after, after the determination of the majority party or parties with majority, and the minority party or parties with minority, the independent member will then decide which side of the house to work with. I hope I'm clear. Mm -hmm. He will then decide that, oh, I want to work with the majority side or I want to work with the minority side. Now, in the case of Samia Nkrumah, she decided that I will not work with any side of the house. I want to stay in the middle. And that happened um, when she was in parliament. We experienced those things here in Ghana. So you cannot now say that. Because the independent member decided to work with you, that made you the majority side. No. First of all, you have to determine the majority and the minority side before that independent person decides to work with you 
or not to work with you. So that is the reason why I came in. That it should not dis uh, interpret the constitution and mislead the public. So how then do we now determine? We have, now we do not have majority. We do not have minority. So we have a hung parliament. We have a hung parliament. We have a hung parliament. The independent Even with the independent, the independent candidate sitting with the side of the NPP. I think that I think I've explained myself very well. Okay. That first of all, you need to determine the majority side and the minority side. Then the independent person decide to work with one side of that. So help us. How do we determine? That is where the problem is. That is what the problem that. What we do we to hope to do to in this situation? Because yes. you are leading. Yes. So when we get to the floor, we don't know what to do because now it is not clear who is because. I have wanted to serve, you have wanted to serve. The other person must wait. And after we have determined who is majority or minority, you can work with one side. Uh, he has indicated that he work with it, but that will not count in determining whether you. You have a majority group, but the constitution was clear. Majority side of the house is made up with a party or parties with a majority number. The more we talk about this particular issue about hang and majority minority side, the more I get confused because all the time uh, we, they explain to us and then we hear that the independent side can form a party, which is not the party in itself as a word, but being on the side of the NPP. But I'm sure you've, you've yeah. called for the order book. Yes. Let's go um, through it. First of all, the submission by my respected colleague regarding the Samia Nkrumah matter factually misleading. In the fact, uh, uh, Samia case, the speaker was clear to her that you cannot choose to be in the middle, join one side. That was the, 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 the records of the house are clear. No, she, she said she wanted to you know, act as and when, but she was told that no, you need to take a decision that is the, the order that in Parliament of Ghana, you must caucus on one side. To so refresh our memories, which side did she caucus? She decided to join the minority then. Mm. Clearly, the, the hands out is there. She would, he would have to confer. Mr. Abiji is shaking no, his no, head. No, he no. no, no, he should check it. He, he would check it. Sort of. No, no, he should check it. But the point is, per, per, per our rules, you cannot stay in the middle. Now, let me read order seven. This has to do with definition, interpretation. It's not Kwame now who is doing interpretation. What is there? Yeah. It reads, but Majority Leader. Reference to the, book. the standing orders of the parliament, that's what um, he's making reference to right now. Um, it's on page what? Page three. Yes. So let's go through it. Majority Leader means, means a member of parliament designated by the party or parties holding majority of the seats in the house as their recognized leader in the house i am saying and i'm firm on that that a purposive understanding of party or parties must come you have to have patience let me just finish that you must understand it not in a literalist language. Your understanding of it must be purposive to include situations where there are independent members of parliament. Because in 2001, we had independent members of parliament who decided, please, with respect, I mean, let's have a, a good engagement. No, in wait wait no you don't ask the question no when no if when i had a lot of disagreement but i waited for you patiently you see in 2001 we had some independent members of parliament we had pnc we had cpp they all decided to join the mpp side so they caucused with the majority. In 2009, and even 2012, some independent MPs and some um, uh, minority, uh, smaller parties who had representation in parliament decided to join the NDC side. Is he aware that in 2009, there were some independent 
MPs who joined their side. And that enabled right. Okay. And to the extent that they caucus with them, they formed that added to their numerical strength. In any event, look, this, this rule is clear that the speaker, let me read order five. In case of doubt, these orders shall be interpreted by Mr. Speaker as he deems fit. And that's so what now, he's let me, he... finish, let me finish. Let me finish. So if he says we have a hung parliament, which I disagree, that there can never be a hung parliament because we have an odd number, 275. So never can you ever have a hung parliament. That is wrong. Well, so, Mr. Abedi, I'm coming to you on this, but please stay with us, uh, Mr. Okay. Fenyomaki, stay with us. You can go, stay, stay with us. So, um, on, on the issue about Samia Yabankuma, um, I've just pulled out uh, my Joy Online article uh, back then. I'm trying to get the date for that. But it, it's captioned, it's headlined, Samia seeks independence in Parliament. It's on the 9th of January, 20, 2009. But wait, let's read that. Let's read portions of that, Mr. Fenyomaki. So, it says that the Member of Parliament, MP for Jomoro, Samia Yabak, Christina Krumah has agreed to sit on the minority side of the House. She had earlier Friday during proceedings in Parliament refused to sit on either side of the House. So that's the, the article that we've just pulled out back then. Thank you very much. I'm a, uh, I'm a that means that the determination of the majority and minorities have been made. Do you, do you agree with me? Here we have not made that determination. Determination must be made before the independent member decide to join one side. Here, no determination is made because you are 137, I'm 137. Who is the majority? Who is the minority? That is why the problem is. We did not use some years inclusion in the minority to, to, to determine our number. No. No. So they cannot use the independent member as part of their number to determine that their majority. That is what the point is. It is very clear. That is a point. That? You see, clearly, I was, I was on a terra firma on the position I took. Okay. We have precedence. Why? The Hansard is supposed to serve as a guide. Why do you think Madam Speaker at the time insisted that Samia must take a position? Add to their numbers no, uh, at the time you'd no, say no, to, no, to make them no, majority or no, minority. No. What I'm saying that Samia was compelled okay. by the speaker to take a position. I am saying that I will fortify my position with that precedence. What is the precedence? Speaker compelled her to state which side of the house she belongs. And which was the, was and the minority? she said minority, meaning MPP was in a the minority then, so she joined us. Mm -hmm. I am saying that you don't need to go onto the desert and get lost in the sun. You have a simple guide. That simple guide is that per that precedence, you then can safely say that to the extent that the Formina MP has served notice of his intent to caucus with us straight away per the precedence in Samia, Yaba and Kroma, the MPP side with the 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 Formina MP would form but from what Mr. Aveji is saying, from However, what from what Mr. Aveji, Aveji is saying is that there should be a determination of who the majority is and where the minority is before the Formina MP can take a decision to join that side. No. Is that accurate? No. If he says that there must be a determination mm -hmm. of who should be the majority mm -hmm. or minority, mm -hmm. that I agree. But if he says that there must be a determination before the Formina MP would, would have to take a position, that one, with all due respect, I disagree. If we continue, well, based on the fact that we have a conflicting understanding of the same order, okay. all right? And I, I, I will have to be fair. If he says that there's a hung parliament, meanwhile, there's an independent candidate, a MP, and I am saying that fortified by a precedence in the House, we can safely say that depending on which side the independent MP goes to, that side would have the strength 
to call itself the majority. So we both, we, we, you, both you both agree on Let me land. Mm -hmm. If he still disagrees, we have another window of ventilation. That is the provision that allows speaker okay. to interpret. It is there that in the event of, no, no, wait. In the event of doubt, whoever would be elected the speaker will interpret the standing orders. Okay. So, so that's the window of ventilation, which we all need at this point. And we're giving you a sneak peek of what the eighth parliament would look like because we have the deputy, uh, what, the, I, I still can't say whether he's my a colleague. deputy majority, minority no, no, you leader on that side. Deputy leader of, De of course, deputy leader of the NPP yeah. and then the he, deputy leader of the NDC. You are taking a job at a difficult time. <laughs> I pity why, why so? Because he's struggling, he's struggling, he's even choking. He's choking to even explain this. Please don't move, don't go. I listen to you, so I want you to be here whilst I talk. First of all, first of all, why did the order or the, the made a provision for a decision to be made by the independent member? No, there's no such thing. Why? That you just said that Madam Speaker insisted that the independent member, Sami Nkrum, must make a choice. Why did the order make that provision? If we can interpret that independent member as a party, that can, that can add to another party to form majority. Why? You, you understand the point? So you know he this. At, what, at, what, at what point? Misleading. At what point then? Because when he said the speaker, you were asking which speaker. So at what point does the public get to know who is the majority, who is the minor? Because it, it appears we are getting tired of this. That is the problem this. we have. That is why we say we have, we are having a hung parliament. We do not have majority. We do not have minority. By the strict interpretation of the constitution and the standing orders, we do not. So which so speaker gets to do that, gives that, that interpretation according yeah. to standing orders? So the speaker that will be elected yeah. will, will do that interpretation. And they put a candidate up too. We're told so that Alban Bagbing. We're also going to put up a ca candidate. Mm -hmm. Then at the end of the election, the speaker elected will then say that, first of all, the speaker will then say that, well, you independent member deciding to work with the MPP will make the MPP the majority side or not. And if that speaker made that ruling... Are you hopeful it will be your candidate, Alban Bagbing? Well, we, 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 want, we, we, we are hopeful we win. They are also hopeful we win. Mm. So when we get to the floor, uh, at the end, whoever wins will accept that person as a speaker. And you are putting up candidates for we second, second uh, deputy uh, position as well? Yes. Once so we've heard about Ayariga, we've heard about Kletus of Voka, we've heard about Dominic Ayene, Dr. Dominic Ayene. Oh, you ha we had three names? Yes, we've had three names. Okay, let's see. Have we shortlisted yet? No, not yet. Okay, but at least the three, uh, my, my predictions are right. I'm not sure. Okay, there so are we, which one? There are other more. Like what? I'll not give you. Okay. <laughs> But have you shortlisted? But when you get to the floor, you see the one that we'll put up. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I yes. We hope that we will win the speakership and win the first deputy speaker. Then we can give them the second deputy speaker. Have you forgotten what happened uh, the last time when you, 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 you refused member. to support their candidates in the case of Peter Lajete? You were punished for it. You lost the second deputy speaker position. Well, four years we were punished. <laughs> Why? We were able to work in parliament and came back to power. If they decide they, decide they can't, if they, they want to punish us, they should go ahead and punish us. Mm. But we'll punish them the more. How would you do so? Well, it's a work of parliament. You're, you're, you're hoping to frustrate it's not every to move. Frustrate. No, it's not to frustrate. Mm. If we see something that we know this is not in the interest of Ghana, we'll resist it. Mm. It's not frustration. He's giving himself away by using the phrase, we'll punish them the more. It means that. They are coming. But he uh, says, are, if you no, punish no, them, no, they will punish no, you. No, no, but don't use the word. If we have, there's nothing like punishment here. So don't inflict okay. so, wounds on yourself. No, no, don't inflict wounds on yourself and then blame somebody for your wounds. The point here is there is no use of language punishment. Okay. I've been issue, we agree that so we need to consult and engage <laughs> ourselves. <laughs> so there's no problem. At least in this engagement, we have set the record straight on a precedence that uh, we all, we all, we we all were in a state of confusion with. That is the Samia president. If they don't think the Samia president is enough to predetermine this matter, eventually, upon election, the speaker 
will be fortified by the rules mm. to make an interpretation, which I think he agrees with. Mm. Um, if they are putting up a candidate mm -hmm. and they know that by doing so, it creates unnecessary rancor, mm. I think that we can engage them more and find an amicable uh, path of resolving that matter. Has the engagement started? Well, we are politicians. We know how to work together for the good of the country. We have a patriotic duty to work for the good of the country. And he says that, look, if they disagree with us, they will act in accord with their patriotic duty to oppose us. I mean, that is part of democracy. We did that when we were in opposition. You remember the number of times that he, as chairman of finance committee, and I, in the minority, were having banter. It was for the good of the work we're doing, no personalization at all. Mm -hmm. So the engagement process will continue. Okay. And I'm sure by midnight uh, would have found a solution, wouldn't we? Let me, let me, let me, let me. Wouldn't we? No, wait, I'll, I'll, I'll answer that question. Let me come in first by saying that um, the determination by the speaker or the interpretation by the speaker should be clear that the speaker or the, the standing order did not say that an independent member should decide to join a party or work with a party. He said that independent member must decide to work with either majority side or minority side. The did, talks about what you're saying. Did he say you should join a party? No, no, no. Which one? I don't, about no, I don't have it here. I need to go through and. No, I have the order here for you. Which provision did not talk about that? You read it for me because I don't have the standing orders and I can't, I can't remember the, the order the, immediately. The order, the, the rule under uh, seven gives interpretation of majority leader. Incorporated in that is the broader definition that we are no, talking no, about. No, and then no, it also gives. It, it also gives as definition of minority leader. And I am saying that, no, no, we, we don't need to break shoulders. I'm saying that if you, if you say that the Samia presidency is not sufficient, and you insist on hang parliament, and I also heard you right, trying to say that, well, we must give a literalist interpretation to the word party or parties. But bear in mind that this provision has to do with interpretation. And there is no further interpretation as to party or parties. You get my point? So I am holding the view, respectfully, that that provision party or parties must be construed purposively. You disagree with me? No problem. But I am saying that the, we'll have to the order five, the, the rule five, talks about says in case, in of, case doubt. of doubts, mm -hmm. these orders shall be interpreted by Mr. Speaker as he deems fit, meaning that we didn't need the Supreme Court to do an interpretation of this matter. We would need our speaker. So we, d we don't have a problem at of all. Of course, we'll wait for that, but we'll be wrapping up at this so point, the, gentlemen. The contention, the contention is party or parties. Although uh, uh, the, the Bamford Ado decision has given a clear guide. So I'm sure the new speaker will be guided by the Bamfordado decision in Samia, because Samia took a decision that I will be with the minority. And that satisfied this provision. Except that it did not make any difference because at that time you had more numbers as a majority. But if upon Samia's decision, which was a matter that was so serious on the house floor, was such that it was going to change the sitting position that would have been the effect. Because she was hanging in, I'm not I'm independent. Madam Speaker said, no, per our rules. You, can't hang. you cannot hang. Mm -hmm. You see, that clearly should tell our colleagues the path they should choose. Madam Speaker, in their time, said that they, he, Samia could not hang, meaning there could not be a hang parliament. Mm -hmm. However, her decision to be on the minority side did not change because the majority at the time had enough okay. to, to enable them remain as majority. Well, but no I, problem I, at all. I, I'm enjoying my so, position so, so, right so, now as a speaker because yeah, yeah, Tim so, Sadeji is trying to okay, catch my eye at this point. Just to conclude by saying that my colleague is getting everything wrong 
completely. Because, be, because, because, yeah, be, because, James, first of all, there is nothing like, there is nothing like Samia Nkrumah's uh, 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 president. Okay? Samia Nkrumah was not used to determine who formed the majority or the minority. Okay. I think so we, we, that, we, president, we, we, that president is referring to, he cannot find comfort there. Okay. So because, we will just wrap up. Let's wrap up, use, Mr. Avergi. We will not use the independent member to determine whether they form majority or not. not. Okay, so, so, so in, in wrapping up, gentlemen, so Mr. Avergi, for his side, um, his position is cast in stone me, at this point. Can't say wrong. Well, so his side is cast in stone. His party has communicated that he will be the deputy leader for his side. Mm. Is your position cast in stone yet? It's unofficially, we've heard that you will be uh, the deputy minority for your side. Well, that has not been communicated to we, the leadership, yet. Um, you know, these days you hear a lot of rumors in social media. So when we get to the floor in the evening, mm -hmm. that position will be communicated to the whole country. I'm sure you know by now. I'm saying that it hasn't been communicated to me okay. officially, okay. so I cannot confirm. Well, we've just given you a sneak peek of what the eighth parliament will look like <laughs> going into it. Thank you very much, gentlemen. I was hoping to hear your fondest memories of the seventh parliament. Briefly, then we can, we can wrap up this discussion. What would be your fondest <laughs> memory? You, you go first. You are <laughs> okay, so no, well, I should say that I enjoyed the sixth parliament the more. More than the seventh? Yes, okay. because uh, there was a lot of space for debate. All right, and we had a lot of banter. You, you throw the punches from the minority, you know, and uh, uh, in the in the seventh parliament, I I became an interventionist. Okay. You know, I became an interventionist when they are throwing the jabs. I had to come in to uh, apply the brakes. Uh, oh. <laughs> well, uh, it, it, it shall be well. We, 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 it shall be well. There's no problem. Well. Thank you very much, Mr. Fenyo Marking. Uh, my my finest memory is a catch for seed probe. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was a member. I was a member of the committee that probe, and you see clearly that all the ministers and then the people who appear all lie to the committee. Awesome. They all lie to the committee, and at the end. The, the three members from the majority side went and cooked a report and presented to, to the house. That's the yeah. fondest memory. That's the fondest memory I have. I, I think, no, no, yes, MFA, I, I think that a distinction must be made between a commentary that may suit the gallery and a commentary that is anchored on fact. Parliament, as an institution, set up a committee to do a work. Our hands that would have it recorded as that A, B, C, and D happen. I think that my respected colleague saying today that ministers came to lie. Please, with respect. No, come on, come on. You can do better. You can't. No, no, no. You, 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 you can do better because the the no. But the record, the man was no. The man, the man, the man who alleged at the time apologized. You were a member of the leadership, and Ayariga stood up and apologized based on the fact that. Were, were, were presented. You can't turn talking around. Talking about and the same case because he's talking about the cash for seats. seats. You are talking about the bribery of the appointments committee. What I'm saying is that mm. the cash for seats matter that he's talking about. I just needed to bring in the okay. Ajarga thing. Okay. The report was clear. He should tell us which part of the Hansard echoes the very position is. He's, he's putting out today. Yes. Let's be fair to our records. Because As we, we came out with our minority report. If we had accepted the report of the committee, we wouldn't have come up with a minority report. Okay. Yes. Gentlemen, thank you so much uh, for your time. Uh, that's the, the deputy minority leader, uh, James Glutia Veji, and then, of course, uh, the incoming deputy leader for the NPP side, uh, Alexander Afenio Marking. This is still the dissolution. We are working towards the dissolution of the seventh parliament to ushering the eighth parliament. This is the Joy News Channel, live on Joy 99.7 FM, myjoyonline.com, affiliates across the country. There is more right here on this channel. I'll hand over back to you to the studio. We'll come back to the chamber shortly. 
Thank you, Emma. For, uh, quite an interesting conversation she had there with those two, two gentlemen. And you had some of the issues raised. And I'll be bringing you uh, the highlights of the seventh parliament and some of the issues raised uh, are there. But you're sending us your WhatsApp messages. I'd like to take a few of them. And uh, this one says, in case there is a clear majority NP of one party and a decision of about 15 independent elected MPs, um, Okay, it's quite confusing. I, I'm not sure what you're saying here, but please do well to add your name uh, and uh, to your messages. And this one says, the A Parliament will vote Professor Mike Okwe as a speaker. And this one says, I think the MPP is confused because Mr. Markins said, the speaker has to decide for the independent candidate to join either the majority or minority. And in this case, there is no majority or minority. So who then decides uh, for the independent candidate? This is Aaron from Tamale. And um, this one says, please affirm your marking. We have MPP and NDC caucus. And uh, this one says, if I understood both deputy leaders referring to party or parties determines who is Speaker of Parliament, then I totally agree with Honourable Aveji, that the eighth parliament is hanging. And uh, he goes on, and this is from Solomon, uh, from Dabala in the Volta region. Do keep those messages coming in. But right now, though, I'll just bring you highlights, timelines, and scandals that characterized the seventh parliament, which will be dissolved later today. So on January 27, 2017, and this is the Ajako Ayariga bribery scandal. Exactly 20 days after the new MPs were sworn into office, NDC MP for Boku Central, Bahama Ayariga, alleged that members of the appointments committee had been bribed $3,000 uh, each to approve the nomination of Boachie Jako as energy minister. And on March 31, 2017, the Joe Garte Committee report concluded claims by Mahama Yariga that MPs had been bribed to approve the nomination of Boachie Jaco as energy minister were untrue, and it took them about two months to do their work and arrive at that conclusion. Uh, now, April 7, 2017, Mahama Yariga reads out an apology letter he had written to the speaker over his bribery allegation on the floor of parliament and uh, the speaker told him to go and sin no more. On February 3, 2017, the minority staged this first walkout over Otiko Afisa Jabba's appointment as gender minister after she stood by comments describing former President John Mahama as wicked and evil. Uh, they also did not understand why she should serve as a minister when she had not done her mandatory national service in Parliament. And this was the first of many walkouts that we'll see later on. So we will continue giving you the timelines. Obviously, it's over a period of four years, and that's just uh, three of the notable ones uh, I, I shared with you in the first year. But this will, this will be it for me here. Thanks so much for your company. I'm Benis Abubeidu Lansa. Daniel Dazi is standing by. We'll be bringing you news today. Uh, but there's more news when you log on to myjoyonline.com. Thank you for choosing us. We are home of independent, fearless, and credible journalism.